Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Friday, December 10th. Today's lesson, number five, is carbon dioxide. You know, I found a little secret about this living soil thing I stumbled into. I thought you might be interested, something I never knew about, and I bet a lot of you out there don't know about it either. Now, the earth itself stores more carbon dioxide than all the oceans. I mean, you got limestone, you got coal, and you've got oil. Those are all under the earth, and they're all carbon. But that's not what I'm talking about. Now, in our last lesson, we did talk a little bit about photosynthesis. That's where the sun turns the carbon dioxide into long carbon chains. A lot of those sugars go into the ground, feeding the bacteria and the fungus that creates the structure for the roots, if you remember that. Then the fungus and the bacteria absorb nutrients out of the dirt. The sand, silt, soil pebbles, a little bit of organic matter. And those sugars are long carbon strands. So that's the first time that the plants actually bring in the carbon. It goes down through the roots and it feeds the living organisms. And then the predators show up, eat the bacteria and fungus, absorbing that carbon into their bodies. Now the pieces that die, that stays in the soil. The pieces that are alive, that stays in the soil. As that cycle continues, those predators release that nutrient so that the plant grows, produces more sugar, attracts more bacteria and fungus, more predators, and that cycle continues. That structure continues to grow down. It can go down 25, 30 feet. All of that life on that one plant is made out of carbon, stores carbon, and sequesters it into the soil. Now multiply that billions and billions and billions of times, and we're helping clear the air. It's just because I didn't want to weed. I stumbled onto something that's pretty exciting. This is also a really good demonstration. This white foam on the top, that's carbon dioxide being released from the soil. Living soil has that much carbon dioxide inside of it. If you would have told me being long-winded was good for the planet, I wouldn't have believed you. But when I come out in the garden and I run my mouth and I blow out all that carbon dioxide, the plants just grab it up, put it in the ground. <laughs> that's a little simplified, but that's what happens. Now you can spread wood chips on your garden, or you can come out and put leaves on your garden, or you can come out and spread some compost on your garden. Anything to jumpstart that life. Your entire garden, your entire field, your entire ranch, your entire farm. If you put organic matter or compost down, you bring those organisms to life in an aerobic setting, all you're gonna do is sequester carbon. You're going to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. By putting down organic matter, building a compost pile, you can kickstart that life in your soil. You can do this too. Now if you find these lessons helpful in these small bites, please hit the like button. If you got any questions or comments about any of the subjects that we've covered so far, please leave a comment down below. I'd sure like to hear from you. Now in future episodes, we're going to go further in depth on compost, whether it's a container, a raised bed, or traditional garden. We can all do something to help the life along in that soil. Now, if you worked on creating living soil, you would be part of the solution also. Now, I can't believe just because I didn't want to weed, I've stumbled into something that in some small part helps the world. As much carbon dioxide as we can store in the soil is a good thing. You can do this too. So talk to your plants, breathe on your plants, sing to your, okay, I'm sorry about that. Sing to your plants, it's all good. Now, if you let those organisms work for you, you not only get a beautiful garden, you get great tasting food that is just full of nutrition. You pull carbon dioxide out of the air, sequester it into your soil, which also helps your plants grow. Sort of a vicious cycle. Then you can just lean back on a bale, punch away on a beet leaf. <laughs> you can do this too. No, I was just amazed to find out that just by creating a living soil, it's actually improving the atmosphere. Thought I'd share that with you. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Hi, you're such a pretty plant. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.